The time is now. This is the Kashmani Hour right here on jrootradio.com. Hi, from JRoot Radio Studios in New York. Wow, what a terrible weather. Baruch Hashem, it's great to be here. Great to be in a nice warm building. And yes, the Kindleach is very nice weather if you're indoors, even when you're outdoors. If you're going away today or for Shabbos, the snow might stop at 8 o'clock. So far, it's showing that it's going to snow till uh, around 7.30. Um, and the weather report for tomorrow does look like it's going to be a nice day. A little bit of rain in the morning. And uh, yes, you're going to have a, a pretty nice Shabbos. Um, and uh, yeah. It's going to be a little bit on the colder side on uh, Sunday, but yeah, 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 mostly Sunday on Shabbos at 49 degrees. Um, anyways, right here on JRU Radio, we're in the warm building, and uh, need some any reporters today? Uh, no, no, I don't know. No, I don't, yes. You don't know reporters. Okay, no, if you want to be a reporter, let us know by calling in. And parents, you can email me at nukishrinihour at gmail.com. That's N-E-W-K-I-S-H-R-O-N-I-H-O-U-R at gmail.com. And if you want to sponsor or want to advertise, we have hundreds or maybe even thousands of listeners. Maybe even, well, I'm not going to say to go a little higher, hundreds of thousands. Um, we have many listeners and you know, your advertisement can be on the ear over here, which is going to be supporting our station. And besides that, you're going to be getting a lot of uh, parnasa, a lot of uh, business in your store. Anyways, no, no talent is rejected over here. No child refused. You can call 718-683-5858. Or text 347-927-8398. You can listen by uh, 712-432-421-7718-506-9099. Now, I asked a little riddle last night. Last week, I should say. Um, The riddle was, well, it's not really a riddle. It's a question. It's a partial question. What does the Pusik mean, Lidrush? Rivka went to Lidrush to ask, what did she, what did the Pusik mean about that? Number one, answer number one, she was concerned about what's going to be the end when, uh, about her birth, about when she's giving a baby. Number two, she davened, she davened very hard that it should go very well. So, Kindleach, yes, as I was saying last week, davening it does a lot, a lot of things for uh, us. Even when we don't feel that Hashem is listening. But yet Hashem always listens, as I said last week. Anyways, this week's uh, riddle, uh, this week's question, actually, is why did Hashem say to Lavan, Toiv Ora? Hashem said to Lavan, don't say good or bad. Why is that Hashem said that? What, what, what does it mean when Hashem said that? It has a deeper meaning than Toivora, you know? Every Pasuk, every, every Taich, everything, everything that Hashem puts in the Chumash, Kindlech, everything Hashem puts in the, 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 the Taita, the Chumash, the Gemara, everything that's in there is not extra. It's not an extra word. We have to, we have to learn it, the reason why. Anyways, the answer will be given in the next time I come. Unfortunately, I will not be in next week. But yeah, you can tune in to next week's show because we're going to have a rewind, and hopefully, it's going to be rewind with me with uh, Meyer Licht. I'm going to try for that one, or Rabbi Yosef Rippler. 
Anyways, so if you know the answer, just text it into 347-927-8398. You can get a prize if you get the right answer. It's going to be a raffle, so you may win the raffle and you may not. And I have the text right in front of me, so I can see your answer. And if you give the right answer, you will be in a drawing. And next week, I will as Hashem announce the winner if there's anybody that texted in. Anyways, Mazel Tov to the Adlers on Kiwi's Bar Mitzvah. Kiwi was a wonderful uh, Bar Mitzvah Kiddush. And uh, we thank you uh, for your inspiring leaning. And um, that's very nice. To, that you laid very beautifully. Anyways, if you want to, if you want a Mazel Tov announced here, you can email me at Nukish Rainy Hour or text it in right now because once I leave, that's it. Uh, we're not going to read the text. So you can send it in to 347927-8398 or you can email me at Nukish Rainy Hour at gmail.com and just write on the topic, the subject that you want to announce a um, a Mazel Tov or a uh, or a uh, Mazel Tov, yeah, and uh, or yeah, any, any announcement, anything that you want to just, you know what, anything you want to to share with us, this is will be uh, welcome more than this is your hours, kids. This is really you, you know, closing and see what is going on. All right, okay. We're good to go, Nisim? We are waiting for you. All right, great. So, anyways, we don't have uh, junior reporters, and we are waiting. Um, Bez Hashem, in the near future, we are going to have exciting uh, programs coming up. We have good storytellers coming. We do have, uh, I believe, people who wrote books, authors. And you can spread the word about j Radio. That would be excellent. And uh, please be misspelled for Alexander Zisha Ben Eliza. And if you have a name that you want to be uh, davening for, you can uh, text uh, 347 927 and I'm going to read the text. Or you can uh, just uh, email me and I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to uh, read the text on the email. Anyways... Uh, tonight's topic, you know, it's very interesting. Uh, before, just before we going to, you know, let's do one thing. Uh, I want to say before, uh, we're talking, we, I want to talk a little bit about the Jeru, about the Naki radio, you know, Naki radio. Yeah, Nisim, you know what? We've been uh, here already a few weeks and, you know, it's time to do this again. The Naki radio, the radio that you see on video right now. It's uh, one of the best radios around. It's actually very interesting. I got a lot of feedback. I got a lot of people saying it's an excellent radio. So yes, go buy the radio and you can text in 347-927-8398 for more info and Nisan will be gladly uh will gladly reply and uh and by the way, the money does not go to J Radio. It's for the, we're doing this as a uh uh it's basically what we we need to you know promote. We're advertising well, something that was needed in the Jewish community, in our community. Anyways, yeah, Nisim, you want to say anything else? No, I just want to say that this is a, the, the best present or the perfect present for Hanukkah, mm -hmm. and you you are just uh, you know you know this that uh, it's unbelievable. Uh, you know, things you saw it, you saw it. How it's working. All right. Okay. 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 So you, it's, yeah. it's you. It's yours. Now. Okay, kids, it's your hour. So yes, you can text in right now, 347-927-8398. A mazel tov, a, a, a good Shabbos wish even. Because I will be reading good Shabbos wishes in the future. And yes, and if you want to advertise, as I said before, you can... Text three four seven nine two seven eight three nine eight, 
or you can uh, actually even email me and I'm going to get back to you. You can email me at Newkishroni Hour, N E W K I S H R O N I H O U R at gmail.com and I will get back to you. And if you want to sponsor Zechanishmas, you want to sponsor uh, some Mazel Tov, or you want to sponsor on anything, you can email me at this email address, NewKishroniHour at gmail.com, and I'll be happy to uh, to uh, sponsor. And uh, yes, uh, we got, Baruch Hashem, many listeners, and yeah. And now we're going to begin. We are going to say stories about Tanayim. And you know, Kindleach, it's very interesting. You know, what do we know about our Tanayim? Uh, just that they wrote the Mishnah, or just that they're in the Mishnah. What do we know? What, 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 could we, you know, what else do we know? What stories do we know? Well, it's actually very interesting. This story happened a long time ago. The Tadik Rabbi Yeshua ben Hanania was walking down a road. He's going to a certain city that he never went before. As Rabbi Yeshua ben Hanania was walking, he saw a split in the road. He didn't know what to do, you know. See, Tzadikim also, and uh, you think, Kindalach, we're the only ones who don't th know what to do. Sometimes the Tzadik doesn't know what to do, so what does the Tzadik do when he uh, he comes to a split and doesn't know what to do? Well, Rabbi Yeshua ben Hanania did not know which road to continue. One road was very nice and smooth, but the other road was very bumpy and full of rocks. Well, Rabbi Yeshua and Bechanania did not know which road led to the city. So Rabbi Yeshua and Bechanania asked a little boy who was sitting on a stone right where the road split. The little boy answered, Both roads go to the city. So both roads go to the city, huh? Interesting. So two roads can lead to the same place. Rabbi Shua ben Hanania then asked, So what's the difference between the two roads? This road, if they're both leading to the city, what's the difference? What, what the difference does it make of which road I go to? Oh, the boy answered, This road, he simply pointed to the smooth road, is short and long. The other road is long and short. Rabbi Yeshua ben Hanania thought that little boy was joking around and having a fun time because what he said did not make any sense at all. And if I'm saying the story wrong, and you think uh, the stories that said differently could be so, but I got this from somewhere that's uh, a, um, a, a Jewish place. So yeah. Anyway, these roads are both long and short, so they are really the same. He thought to himself, "Just the smooth road is very nice, and the rocky road is not so nice. So I might as well travel on the nice smooth road." And off he went. On the smooth road, Rabbi Yeshua ben Hanania continued on his way onto a smooth road. After traveling for a short distance, Rabbi Yeshua ben Hanania reached the end of the road. The road did not lead to his destination, but there was a big wall and then a field. After the field, there was another wall. Then there was a whole bunch of rocks, even more rocks than they were on the bumpy road. After that, there was another field by, followed by a big fence. Oh, only Rabbi Yeshua ben Hanania would climb all of the fences and walls and cross over all the fields when he reached his destination. Oy vey, Rabbi Yeshua ben Hanania thought. I cannot climb over these fences and walls. That would take too long. Now I understand what the little boy meant. This road is short because it gets you so far in a short time, but to actually reach the city is going to take a long time. Maybe the other road, even though it's bumpy, doesn't have all these walls and fences in the way. That would make it long and short. So, Rabbi Shum Hanania went back to the fork of the road and asked the boy who's still there, What happens if you go on the bumpy road? Well, the boy answered, I tell you, it's the long, short road. The road is really longer, but since you don't need to climb all those walls and fences, it's shorter. So it's a long, short road. Rabbi Shum Hanania smiled and gave the boy a bracha. I'm so proud of you. You learned Torah so well that not only are you well versed in the Pasuk, but even your talking was affected by it. And then Rabbi Yeshua Bechanania went on his way. Anyways, another story of Rabbi Yeshua Bechanania. Uh, Rabbi Yeshua Bechanania was very honored and loved by every Yid. He was even invited to the Caesar's palace. The Caesar was a uh, king. And 
he was uh he gave the wisdom his wisdom over to the caesar 